Yo, I'm here. Twenty six. Okay, I'll be there by the right. Don't give up your life for the hustle because in the end it don't give you nothing back. You know what I mean? No matter how much you put into your hustle, you're gonna take everything. How long have you been doing this? About eight years. Straight on, never taking an off day, you know. Everywhere, bro. Get it in everywhere. Near Toronto, you know, Newcastle, everywhere. Big market for this shit, right? Here. So whatever you want, man. Coke, weed, you know, ecstasy. Whatever you need, bro. On a good week, bro, you make it seven grand. And on a bad week? Two G's, three G's. So I'm partying too hard, you know. Anytime, man. Phone rings on there. Would you say 24 hours? You know, I try to sleep, but that's what it is. Phone rings on there. 15, 16, started going real hard. You know. Fuck, actually, I started backwards. I started something crap. It's just who I was with and shit, people I was around. But, you know, as I grew up, I started fucking with the Kush and shit. You know? It's weird, I just did it backwards, I guess. Sell drugs to kids? <laughs> Try not to. I want, I want the kids to have, you know, a life before they get into the drugs. <laughs> Take your life away. Some people, you know, some people can handle smoking a joint once a month. Sniffing a line of coke once a month. Some people sniff that line and that becomes your life right there. You can lose everything in this drug game right here. And I don't just mean if you're selling it and going to jail. Users lose their life too, because that's all they do. Think about who gets all the money for the dealers. It's, it's the fiends. They run around their town stealing, you know, robbing people, doing whatever they can for the fix. And those are the people that started off with the one line and couldn't stop, you know? That's the problem with some people. It takes over their whole life. You know, I understand the war against, like, crack, heroin, you know, cocaine, and drugs like that. I mean, they'll destroy families, you know, ruin an area, you know, fiends. But, I mean, I think they need to put more, more money into education, you know? More things for the community, more, more things for the kids to do, you know? More tennis courts, more basketball, like, courts, whatever, right? Just... They're not winning. And they won't win. Drugs will always be in our country and in our city, our towns. There will always be a way to get it in. You know, and they keep fighting it. They keep putting billions of dollars into something that, that doesn't help nobody, you know? Jails are full. We need a new approach, you know? middle of the interview, someone who has been avoiding a large payment owed to our subject was spotted. He immediately stopped answering questions and proceeded to follow him until eventually losing ground due to the traffic. You know who I just seen, eh? Yeah. No, he's lucky I'm, I'm, I'm with the camera crew right now, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm dealing with that. Alright, give a show. Text messages were then sent and received by our subject. 
told him I just seen him. It's part of the game right here, but you know. What'll happen if you let them get away with it? You know, everyone will see that. Streets talk. Next thing you know, you're an easy target, you know? Everybody be trying to get at you for that little piece of change. It's a part of the game right there. Not everybody makes good money, you know? Some people are stick-up kids. They love that shit. They hear you're an easy target. Next thing you know, you know your door's getting kicked in. Guns in your face. Tied up. Got your mom's upstairs. Tied up. Nobody knows what the fuck that feels like. You don't want to you know what that feels like. What, all because you wanted to start selling drugs, right? It is in the game, people don't know. Like my family do my family wants to see me succeed, you know what I mean? They don't want to see me hustle, that's why I'm trying to stop, you know what I mean? But how are you supposed to get a job now? I got a record, you know what I mean? I still got trafficking charges pending, like what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Go work for fifteen dollars an hour now? Like make a regular like I was making you know, more than more than a fucking lawyer in a year. Straight cash too, no fucking taxes. I see my boys that are working legit, now they're owning their own houses and shit, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, that's the way I want to go, you know? Gotta start a career now, after everything I've done. You know, I love the life I live, but now I'm starting from the bottom, you know what I mean? That's the hard part. The hustle don't last forever. Never will. Don't give up your life for the hustle, because in the end it don't give you nothing back, you know what I mean? No matter how much you put into your hustle game, it'll take everything from you, man. Everything. No matter how big you do it. The government always says drugs are illegal because they're bad for you and we're trying to protect society. But the government don't give a fuck about your safety. They sell guns at Walmart. They don't give a fuck about you. The government, they don't want you to use your drugs. They want you to use their drugs. So every night on TV, you see a weird ass drug commercial trying to get you hooked on some legal shit. And they just keep naming symptoms till they get one that you fucking got. Are you sad? Are you lonely? You got an athlete's foot? Are you hot? Are you cold? What you got? You want this pill, huh, motherfucker? You got to take this pill. Oh shit, they got one. I got that. I'm sick, I need that pill. The government trying to get you hooked on some legal fucking shit. And that's the truth, man. Shit. The reason coke and weed are illegal in America don't got shit to do with your safety. The reason coke and weed are illegal in America is because the best coke and weed ain't made in America. If they made the good shit here, there'd be a coke and weed restaurant on every fucking corner.